Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got a little bit different of a video for you today. Today we're going to be looking at a rod combo. We're going to be reviewing it. Uh, this is my newest rod purchase. This is an Abu Garcia Vengeance. This is a seven foot medium heavy fast action rod. Uh, I recently picked this one up because one of my spinning rods snapped and I'm looking to get more into bait casting rods as I get more serious about bass fishing and just kind of keeping spinning rods is uh, for specialty things. But uh, one of the reasons this stood out to me was I was looking for a budget rod uh, really under the $60 range, which is very, very budget. And I just didn't have a whole lot of money to spend on a rod. I know with rods, you get what you pay for. And if you want a good one, you need to spend good money. However, this one was uh, surprisingly really good for the money I spent, and I'm very happy with it. Like I said, I was looking on the $60 range. This was either 60 or 65. By the time I paid taxes, uh, it was about 70. I got this on walmart.com. This was uh, one of the cheapest rods you could buy. There's a couple other rods out there that meet this price point or are similar to it. The Bass Pro Shops Mega Cast, I believe is about $60. And Ozark Trail makes ones that are a few cheaper, a few dollars cheaper. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ozark Trail is Walmart's kind of budget outdoors brand, I'd say. And they do make some fishing lures and rods. However, I did want more of a notable fishing brand and abu garcia is a little more notable than ozark trail i'd say it's got a really cool kind of camo pattern for it uh, lots of times rods cheaper rods will have like a really cool paint job to sucker you in on to buying them like a bright color or a cool pattern uh, this one is a cool pattern but the rod really isn't that cheap or that bad uh, i think it's, it performs very well for a 60 dollars rod uh, it does it did this one did come with a starter pack it came with 14 pound Berkeley line and two uh, Berkeley 5.5 crankbaits. Uh, the crankbaits themselves are awesome. I'll show you right quick. This one is the bluegill one. It's got kind of a textured side and it's got a cool paint job. It's got like the 3D eyes, uh, some fairly large treble hooks on it too. It's got the smaller square bill so it doesn't dive super, super deep, which uh, can be really good. It also came with a shad colored one that has a little bit of gray and some green and some silver in it but they're both the same body just different paint jobs and they both do well depending on where you're fishing uh, the bait fish uh, may be more of a bluegill or a shad just depends on what lake or river you're in now as far as quality goes the rod itself feels pretty good i like the action on it it just feels really smooth it's fairly sensitive for a 60 dollar rod uh, the reel the reel is smooth uh, overall it's a lot of plastic which is one complaint i have but Honestly, that's just what you're going to get these days, uh, especially with a lower end rod. Uh, something like this handle is going to be metal, but overall it is going to be plastic. But it's a fairly decent feeling plastic. It's not bad. It feels pretty good. It's very smooth, uh, especially for a $60 rod. I can cast this super, super far, like really far. It's, it's really awesome. I do have 12 pound fluorocarbon on here because the line it did come with kept snapping. I don't know if it had been on there too long or what was its deal. But it... It didn't do super well. It may have just been a lemon that I got. But overall, it's very smooth. I really like it. It's it's an awesome gift, uh, especially for like somebody you know is getting into fishing and wants to try a baitcaster or just a purchase for yourself like I did, uh, being less than $70 for a fairly decent baitcaster. And it comes with everything you need to just throw, throw the lure on the line and fish if you don't have a whole lot of fishing stuff. I have a lot of fishing stuff, so I didn't need the starter pack. But it was, I believe it was on sale a little bit, so I went ahead and got it. I was looking for the Abu Garcia Black Max. as I'd seen some videos on that, some creators talking about its quality for an entry level. However, those videos said it was $50, $60. That rod is now like $85, $90 where I'm finding it. Uh, someone knows where it's cheaper, let me know. But from all the major retailers and sporting goods places, even Walmart, like it was $85, $90. And I just couldn't afford that at the time. So I went ahead with this one and I'm not disappointed. I really like it. It's got a good action to it. It's very smooth. I would recommend it to any beginner or intermediate angler who's looking to get a decent uh, bait cast rod, even if it's not going to be your primary one. If you just want to have an extra one laying around or if a buddy goes fishing with you, it's an awesome one to have, and I would definitely recommend it. If you have any questions about the rod, please let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I uh, appreciate you all watching, and you all have a good one.